stood all the time. We thank God for today. We thank God for your life. We thank God for what God is about to do. Amen. The Bible says that David said, I was glad that he said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. There is no better place than the house of God. Push the person behind you, it is good you are here. It is good. Or push you and say, it is good you are here. Hallelujah. There is no better place. There is no better place. Right now, some people are watching hockey. Some people are somewhere else doing something. But it is good for you to worship the Lord. Let me tell you, God has been so good to your life. You have been preserved by God. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that you can do to God to honor Him is to come in His presence. The Bible says that in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. In the presence of God, there is what? Fullness of joy. The only place that where you can enjoy fullness of God is the presence of God. You can never run away from the presence of God. You can never. You can never. There is no better place than the presence of God. Amen? Amen. I want to encourage you this night so that we, we will enter into a serious prayer. As part of fact, by the grace of God, we started a, a long fasting. We are going to wrap everything tonight. And I want to encourage you. Tell the person behind you, come out of the box. Or push him when I say, come out of the box. Or push him when I say, come out of the box. Say, sister, come out. Say, come out. Push him when I say, come out, my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, many of us, the enemy has put us under a big box. There are times your own family members can even put you in a box. And some people can look at you and predict your destiny. And they can tell you that you, nothing good will come out of your life. They can look at you and tell you that, that you, you can never be a successful man or woman. They can look at you because of education. They can tell you that because you did not attend to um, 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 school, you can never mount up to be nobody. People can describe your life. They can pre prescribe your life. But that is not the purpose of God. That is not what? The purpose of God. They can never put you in that box. They can put you in that box. And there are times too, some of us can also accept a certain situation of our destiny. And we can imprison our own self. There are times I used to look at myself and I watched the mirror. There was a time in even in high school, the enemy blew when I was nine years, my mother and my father get divorced. I was like nine years. So, I have to live, sometimes you have to be with your mother for almost like six months and they come and pick you to your father for six months and they'll bring you to your mother for six months and it was something like that. So it came to pass that even when I come to my mother, I say, I'm going stay home, you know, I don't have no money, so stay home. So when I was even going to high school, I dropped out from high school. There was one day somebody looked at me as the way I was talking, the way I was standing there, so I, I could see it better future in you. What are you doing? You know, in Ghana, there was a, we used to go and, and, and you know, golf, golf, golf. We used to go and do Kenny. We call it Kenny. Yeah. I know how to play golf. Maybe one day, if you know how to play, you can't do. <laughs> and so, instead of me to go to school, I stopped schooling. I think today is my first time I'm telling you that. <laughs> when I came to Canada, well, I asked you people that, you know what, I want to go and play golf. They said, Prophet, the golf is for rich people. <laughs> and I said, I'm also rich. I have to play golf. Are you with me? Now, I, I was the best footballer. But since I entered into golf, I stopped, you know, the way I love football, I stopped football. I stopped loving football. And I stopped loving golf. And some of you, you don't know how golf is so, golf is so sweet. I have never seen a game like golf. <laughs> I, I guess some of you love hockey. The day you enter into the golf park, and, and we teach you about the techniques about golf. You will love golf. Those men used to think that golf is for old people. Oh, yeah, for old people and for those people. Golf for the rich people, eh? No, I'm blessed. Amen? Amen. So I stopped schooling and I was just doing candy, moving around, helping people. And, and, and even in that time, that was where I sensed the calling of God upon my life. There was one time that they were, they were there was something like they call it professional pro. And there was a big match. There was a big competition that we were doing. 
and the person that I, I was taking care of, I, I, I was attending to that person. Now, the person was calling a good shot, and he says, I've been moving to one, one other guy for many years. But today that I actually have you in Canada, and I move with you, it seems that anything I'm doing is working for me. Because when the guy is playing the golf, I'll be standing there, and then I'll be being scooting, saying in the name of Jesus, let the shoot come out there. Now, so this guy was hitting a good score. At the end of the day, we won that competition. Put your hands together for Jesus. So the guy said, you know what, I want to have a contract with you, and I want to, I want you to be my Kelly. He was a white guy. I want you to be my Kelly and blah 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 blah. And later on, later on, some few people said, no, 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 you have to go back to school. I said, no, sir. The guy was so annoyed, he came back looking for me everywhere. And I stopped from that place. The reason why I'm telling you this thing is that somebody look at me and tell me that, you know, you are better than where you are now. Because in my mind, I wanted to be a Kelly and just be there and just like that. But once somebody also called me and said, you know what, you can be better than what you're doing. Even if you want to come out as a professional golfer, you want to go to school. I you be somebody? Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't um, away yourself, if you don't put value over your life, you can just accept something and live on it and be content of that situation. And by the time you come to your sense, by the time you reach your sense stage, you realize that you are making a lot of mistakes in life. Some of you could even go back to school. Some of you could go even open your own company. But some of you don't dream big. Your dreams are very limited. You think so small. And there are times that can actually affect all the people in the family. When you cast your mind back, nobody in the family has ever come out to become a great man or a great woman. When you enter into your family, there is no politician. There is no great rich man or rich woman. Ladies and gentlemen, I came here to inject something in your DNA that your God is a bigger God. Your God is a mega God. For that reason, you have to do great things. For that reason, you have to come out with great spirit. Lift up your hands up and shout and say, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. You can do a spirit. You can do bigger things. Come out of the box. Come out of what? The box. Open the Bible with me to the book of Esther. Chapter number, Esther chapter 2, verse 1 coming. Esther chapter 2, 1 to 8. I want the good reader to read it for me. We are fed up with living a mediocratic life. We are fed up. Where the family members, nobody can come out. Ladies and gentlemen, our time has come. I believe Christianity. We have to reach a certain stage where when we look at politicians, we can see people like you in politics. We can see people like you. Some of our daughters and sons have to go to politics. Some of them have to stand for mayors and become the next trio. I would be somebody. If you, if you don't want to do my daughter, look at her well. Soon she's going to be the next Prime Minister of Canada. Amen. Yeah. You have to declare, speak positively, and it will happen. There was one day, I was in the house, and my mother went to a prophet. And when my mother came home, he said, that day, you know, my mother is a person that actually, actually fights with me every day in the house. You know, she loves talking. She loves talking. I don't like talking. I don't like people who talk too much. And she loves talking. So there are times I don't like when I'm with her. I don't like it. So that day she gave me a special attention. She went with somebody and immediately she came home. He said, Oh my son, have you eaten? I said, No, eat something. Uh, do, you, do you care for some more? Why this special treatment? So I was surprised. <laughs> I was surprised. She was treating me special that day. And I was confused. So the person she went with actually called me and said, You know what? Do you know why today your mother is treating you so well? I said, No. He says, she went to a place and they told her that you're going to be a prime minister. I said, ha! <laughs> okay! So a prophet said I'm a prime minister. That is why this powerful treatment. I could be somebody. When the going get tough in life and even they came to a certain stage where we stop, you stop schooling. I look at myself and say, 
there was a prophecy that I'm going to be a prime minister. Where am I now? <laughs> and a prime minister who is a dropout said, Lord, you have to do something. I will be somebody. Yes. But in his definite mind, a time came that I was praying for ministers. I lay my hands on ministers. I lay my hands on, on prominent men and women. There was one time, one thing that I love most is when I see you here, you don't know it much. In Africa, I'm telling you, they are the presidency, they are enjoying. When the president is coming, the convoy, that will blow. Everybody have to run from the way. And all the drivers have to clear off. And before the, the, the president will come. So by the grace of God, I have an opportunity to pray for one governor. He was in actually in US, he came to Ghana. He served as a, he, he's somebody like Kofi Annan. I don't know whether you know Kofi Annan. He's the same position as Kofi Annan. And then when he came to Ghana, so even in Ghana, he's powerful than even the president there. Because he served one nation. And I prayed for him. And there was one time I was doing a program, and he said, Prophet, you see, the time we are giving to you is so close, so what you have to do is you have to go with my convoy and my driver. So uh, he said, hey, driver, come on, pick my prophet, go. And then he wants to go and do a program. So the guy came and I, I, and I sat in the front. As matter of fact, the driver said, Prophet, looking at the time in Accra, there is a big traffic jam. So what we could do is to, we are going to blow the tip. So he started blowing it. Woo, 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 woo. And all the cars were just passing by. All the cars were parking. And I was actually, I said, then I said, myself, you know what? Because I heard some people talking, so these ministers, these governors, these people are too low. They, they, they are so something, they are something else. So when I heard it, I said, oh my God, they are treating me as a minister. Let me behave myself as a minister. So I actually decided to relax and smile, you know, you squeeze your face later. I need to be somebody. <laughs> so when the thing was going and the cars were just going about, that was where I, 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 something came in my mind. And, and the Holy Spirit whispered in my ear and he said, you'll be praying for you to be in that position. How did you see you because you are my servant, I have given you the mandate and you are not even riding in your cars. And look at how people are honoring you, bowing down before you. Lift up your hands and shake your hands and say, I believe. I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, when I came out, five men came out and they, and they hold me up and people were just standing around that place and they were, they, they couldn't, they don't know the person who, who actually came down. He said, look at a young minister. I said, I am not an ordinary minister. I am a minister of God. I will be somebody. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, it takes a day for God to cause a miracle over your life. Amen. It takes a day. It takes what? Amen. I used to tell you that if God has promised you something, ladies and gentlemen, whatever the enemy will do, it will come to pass. Amen. It will do what? Now I am a minister. So my sons are going to be the prime ministers. I need to be somebody. <laughs> okay, if you are there, you can read it for me. Esther 2 and verse 1 to 9. Eh? Yes, 1 to 8. Yeah. After these things, when the wrath of King Asherus was appeased, he remembered fasting and what she had done and what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, let there be fair young virgins sought for the king. Mm -hmm. And let the king appoint officers in all the provinces of his kingdom, mm -hmm. that they may gather together all the fair young virgins unto Shushan, the palace, mm -hmm. to the house of the woman, unto the custody of Aji, the king's chaplain, mm -hmm. keeper of the woman, and let their things for purification be given them. Mm -hmm. And let the maiden which pleases the king be queen instead of Vachi. Mm -hmm. And the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Mm -hmm. Now in Shushan, the palace, there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai, mm -hmm. the son of Jahir, mm -hmm. the son of uh, Shemim, mm -hmm. the son of Kish, a Benjamite, mm -hmm. who had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captivity which had been carried away with Jeniah, king of Judah, who Netu Shaddai, the king of Babylon, had carried away. Mm -hmm. And he brought up to Hashtashai, mm -hmm. that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, mm -hmm. for she had neither father nor mother, 
And the maid was here. I want you to second up, please. The Bible says that she neither had mother or father. She was an orphan. Continue. And the maid was fair and beautiful. Mm -hmm. who she was what? She was fair and beautiful. She was fair and beautiful. Continue. Who Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, mm -hmm. took for his own daughter. Mm -hmm. So it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when maidens were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace, to the custody of Haggai, mm -hmm. that Esther was brought also unto the king's house, mm -hmm. to the custody of Haggai, keeper of the women. Wait here for me. The Bible says that there was a declaration. The king, we could, we could just put uh, Trudeau as even an example. Just imagine as a, a Trudeau, as a prime minister, something happened that a whole wife disobeyed him. And the Bible says that he dethroned his wife, he divorced his wife. So there was a vacancy. He needed a wife. And there was a declaration that all over the city, all the young virgins, all the young virgins, they have to search for, all of them have to come together and do something like a, a beauty contest. And the king or the, the prime minister will select his wife. As a of fact, Esther was a woman who, the Bible says, that has dedicated her life for the things of God. She was a virgin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are times if God wants to do something for you, you have to be empty. There are a lot of people, they used to pray to God, give me husband, but you are, you are sleeping with four legs. How can a man come? If you are praying for a husband and you already have one, how can another one come? Are you with somebody? The Bible says that she was a virgin. She was somebody who was empty, waiting for his miracle. And the Bible says that Mordecai, as an uncle, saw Esther and said, My daughter, I think this thing you have to join. Esther said, No, Papa, this thing, you see, the condition is so strong because it's the whole Canada. And maidens and all virgins have to, you know, they have to gather themselves and they have to pass through our six months treatment. And the king will select whatever he, she, uh, he has chosen. So Esther said, no, this thing is too much. This thing is too much. I can't do it. But Mordecai encouraged her and said, come out of that thing. Come out. As a matter of fact, if that thing could have been some of us, because she was an orphan, she should have said, I'm an orphan. My mother is dead. My father is dead. And as a matter of fact, the Bible says that they were on exile. Slaves and the captivity. There are times we used to accept certain things, situations, uh, because of certain circumstances. We accept certain things. Because of our color, we accept certain things. I would be somebody. Amen. But I came here to give just something in you that what they can do, you can do it better. Amen. I say, what they can do, you can do it better. Amen. Yes, we can. The Bible says that Esther came out of that box. She did not let those kind of limitations, the way of becoming orphan. Probably she wasn't educated, but she said, let me also join the king. And guess what? The Lord was with her. Ladies and gentlemen, what, what you need in this life is you need the favor of God. Amen. When you have the favor of God, it will assist you to anywhere. Amen. I said, when you have the favor of God, it will assist you to anywhere in life. What you need is what? The favor of God. The favor of God. The Bible says that Jesus has favor of men and of God. You know, one of my prayers in this life is I pray for more favor. You see, even in the time of your need, when you enter into a place where nobody know, people don't know you, you somebody will meet you and say, ah, it seems I know you somewhere. It is not about the person you knowing you somewhere. It is the favor of God. Put your hands together for Jesus. Shout this in favor. Yeah. When you read the Bible, well, we continue. The Bible says that they actually passed through six months' treatment, and it was time for the king to let her wife. There were about 2,000 women. So about 1,000 went. The king will look at them and say, Ah, dude, you know, I've seen beautiful ones, but. My heart is not beating, you know. All, all those girls, they are beautiful, but my heart is not beating. The Bible says that it reached the stair, the tent of Esther. Esther approached, Esther came in front of the king. Immediately, Esther saw a 
like the king saw Esther, her face was shining. One of the advantages about this ministry is that if you join this ministry, and ladies and gentlemen, your face will begin to shine. Amen. Better shout and say, Amen. Amen. House of Mercy, if you join us, your face will be shine. You receive divine favor. People look at you and they see beauty in you. Shout and say, I believe. I believe. I'm telling you, sooner or later, all the young ladies here, every, all of you are going to marry in the name of Jesus. Amen. In 2016, by force, you are going to marry in the name of Jesus. Amen. And, uh, and those who are married, your husband is going to love you today. Oh, put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> The Bible says that when the king saw Esther, the king could not control himself. He said, wow, what a beauty. It wasn't the physical beauty that attracted the king, but it was the favor of God. Then he said, there are some people like, you know, people think that to get a good marriage is about beauty. No, 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 no. Some people think, let me come again. Some people think that uh, for you to get a good marriage is about beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is no. I have seen beautiful ladies, beautiful, beautiful. We go, you look at them and say, this one is beautiful. But, it's a prophet, my problem is, even to get one man for myself is a problem. I have money. I have seen people that have money. When it comes to money, when it comes to power, links, they have everything. But to get even one man is a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes the favor of God. Shout and say the favor of God. The favor of God. What you need is the favor of God. And for you to come out of that box, for you to come out of that limitation, for you to come out of that uh, barrier, ladies and gentlemen, you need divine favor. Amen. When you have divine favor, my sister, it will give you acceleration, acceleration to wherever you are going. If you want to go to your destination, then you need the favor of God. Say favor. Amen. You see, some people will be will be all going for work. You see, the moment you enter there, there are a lot of people. They will come with a powerful resume, but they will look at through, through all the resume and say, ah. Immediately you set and you go to the partner. They look at you and say, you know what? I think we need you here. Are you doing something? I declare you will never be disappointed in the name of Jesus. I said you will never be disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I will never, I will never, lift up your hand, say, I will never, I will never be disappointed. Say, I will never be disappointed. Say, I will never be disappointed. Anywhere I go, I will take charge. Say, in my sin, I will take charge. In my family, I will take charge. In Canada, I will take charge. Say, Lord Jesus. There are some strong spirit and principality. His duty is to thwart the purpose of God. So he looked through the family and he realized that all the men, they have problem even when, for them to get married is a problem. You enter into a family and you realize that the men, they can never come out to become successful men or successful people on this earth. You enter into a family and their major problem is even for them to have babies is a problem. You enter into a family and you realize that there are some, a lot of people with psychiatric problems. You enter into a family and you realize that nobody has ever even accomplished a degree. 
Lift up your hands. Whether you like it or not, everybody here, every each one of us, there is something in your family that is working against all the men and the women. Lift up your hands and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Any power, any power, any force. 